Hello everyone. How is it going? I hope you all are doing well. Let us begin today's session. Till now, we have learnt about nervous system. And we came to conclusion that in nervous system, electrical impulses are carried by nerve cells. This is a faster transmission. But there are some limitations of nervous system. What are they? The limitations are that it can reach only the cells which are connected by nervous tissues. So the information which is transmitted is only can send to the cells which are connected by nervous tissues. It cannot reach to all the cells. Also, another limitation is there that electrical impulses cannot be created and transmitted continuously. So, these are the limitations. Then, we should have another option for it. So, there is an option, endocrine system. What is endocrine system? Endocrine system releases chemicals. It releases chemicals by cells and which diffuses all around. Diffuses means it goes, it can be spreaded all around the body. What are the advantages? Advantages is that it can reach to all the cells of the body. We know that nervous system that has limitation that the information carried by it cannot reach to all the cells but here in endocrine system we can have advantage that the information can reach to all the cells as well as it is a continuous process wherein in nervous system we learned that it is a sudden response we give sudden or, or immediate response to the stimulus but here there is a slow transmission of the information. Let us take example of human beings. Think that a baby is born. Now, for growth and development of the body of the baby takes time. Is it happening that today the baby is born and tomorrow it turns into an adult? No, it is not, right? So, this is slower process wherein the chemicals are released by the cells and it reaches to all around the body. One more thing that we know that as human beings grow older, there are different parts of the body that get gets developed. But these chemicals are produced in such a manner that it will be released in proper amount or you can say in proper proportion. Is it happening that the fingers of human beings are as tall as the height of human beings it itself? No, it is not, right? So, we know that the fingers and our faces grow bigger but not as the size of ourselves, right? So, these chemicals are released in specific portion and to which part it should be released for that also specific system is there which is called endocrine system. So endocrine system consists of chemical coordination in human beings. All the endocrine glands together form endocrine system. So what is there in endocrine system? Endocrine glands. This endocrine glands secretes hormones and these hormones are carried by blood to specific organs. Endocrine gland secretes means what? They produces. What do they produce? They produce chemical substances and the name of chemical substances are hormones. Remember, what are hormones? They are chemical substances secreted by glands and these hormones will be carried by blood and we know that blood goes to all part of the body. So with this blood 
this hormones will go to the specific organs now you may think what are glands so let me tell you glands are the organs that synthesize or secrete the or else you can say glands are the organs that produce chemical substances either into blood or into apical surface what did i say glands are the organs that produce or synthesize or secrete chemical substances either into blood or into apical surfaces here in this 10th standard in this chapter we will talk about the glands which synthesize chemical substances into blood that we will see now here one more thing i said that it can release in apical surface that means outer surface of the cell so here we are not going to talk about it we will talk about the organs which secrete substances into blood as i said endocrine system is consists of endocrine glands so we all know what are glands now and they produces chemical substances which are called hormones the picture which you are seeing on the screen that is a picture of endocrine glands in human beings in male and in female i am sure you have learned this in your standard 8 let us revise what you have learned there are glands in endocrine system so one by one we will learn all we have already learned that hypothalamus is the gland now it plays an important role as you can see in the figure where is the location of hypothalamus it is in the brain right you can see in the brain hypothalamus is present so the location of hypothalamus is in the brain now what is the function of hypothalamus first of all we will see what are the hormones released by hypothalamus so the hormones released by hypothalamus are called as releasing hormones the name of that hormones are releasing hormones now let us see the function of hypothalamus the function of hypothalamus is to control pituitary gland to release hormones what does this mean we all know that pituitary gland is called the master gland and it controls the function of all other glands so to control pituitary gland there must be any other gland to control its function so there is hypothalamus and the hormones which are released by it releasing hormones will control the pituitary gland to release hormones in how much amount this hormones to be released by pituitary gland that all will be controlled by hypothalamus in short you will remember that hypothalamus controls the function of pituitary gland in terms of to release hormones now sometimes we come across people who are either very short in other words we can say dwarfs or extremely tall in other words we can say giants right so we come across this type of people right have you thought how this happens that one person is too short and one is too tall for this there is a hormone called growth hormone and which is released by pituitary gland okay it is released by pituitary gland that means pituitary gland releases there are many hormones released by pituitary gland but this is the important one which it is growth hormone so it is one of the hormones secreted by pituitary gland and what does it do the function of it is to stimulates growth in all organs that means it helps to control growth and development of the body that means 
before starting about this glands i give you examples that is it like that that our fingers are too tall as our height no right so there should be a particular amount of each hormone to be released now if there is deficiency of this growth hormone then what will happen it leads to the things that person can be dwarf or it can be too tall okay so deficiency leads to this kind of situations and one more important thing that pituitary gland is said as the master gland so this is about pituitary gland and hypothalamus in the figure you can observe hypothalamus and pituitary gland both are located in the brain if you look carefully hypothalamus and pituitary gland are very close to each other and pituitary gland is beneath the hypothalamus gland okay so this is about hypothalamus and pituitary gland